Uh, very proud, very proud. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's not just me. It's my secretary. It's the administration. It's my coaches and my athletes. They all contributed to it, and uh, I really appreciate all the hard work everybody does to make this a good program. Yeah, let's talk about it. Jefferson's a sports town. Uh, you know, also academically, academically it's known. But you guys are known as a sports town. Talk about running the show here at a school where athletics means so much. Well, it makes it a lot easier because the kids love it. The coaches love it. They're all dedicated. We have parents that support all our programs. We have like 15 booster clubs, and they all support the programs. They don't work on their own. They support our coaches and our teams, and that's what this kind of a town will do for, for an athletic program. And just talk about the role of an AD nowadays. Obviously, you were an administrator before that as, a, I believe, vice principal, and then you're now the athletic director. Just talk how that position has evolved since you've been AD. Well, you know, I, I guess the hardest thing is, is sportsmanship, believe it, making sure that the kids buy into sportsmanship and your coaches buy into sportsmanship. Uh, to use one of the sayings that a, a former AD of the year, Bill Edelman, used to say is, they're not the enemy, they're just the opponents. And uh, we try to instill that in our athletes. We, we just, I believe in education-based athletics, and we work hard to prove that every single day. That's about the whole child. It's about being a good sport, working together, teamwork, all those kind of things. And I think we've accomplished that here. We have some great kids and some great coaches. You're a former coach yourself. You coach softball at Mount Olive. How does that help you when you're dealing with these coaches, especially the new ones? You've been there. Well, you know, coaching four different sports when I was coaching, gives me some experience that I can I can work on. My wife was also a coach, and, and that's important. That's just experience that you use. Everything you do throughout your career, I mean, it's 38 years now, going on 39. So everything that you've done over the years, just is that experience you use every single day when you deal with kids, coaches, parents, and uh, it's helped me tremendously. Now, the Ed Jack was born in 2009, well, actually before that, and you were president of this league. It's sort of been your, your baby. You've watched it grown. Your thoughts on seeing, you know, the SEIL breakup and the NJAC and the success it's had over the last six, seven years. Well, you and I had a follow-up interview not too long after that initial interview. And I'll say it again, that I, I put this conference up against any conference in the state. I, I just think we have a great bunch of kids. We have dedicated coaches, great athletes. Everybody works hard for the same goal. And uh, I, I just think it's a great conference. We're, we're losing a, a, one of our best. Jimmy Baglin's retiring, and uh, we're sad to see him go. Uh, but uh, it's a great conference, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And on the state level, you've been very active, uh, with obviously with the transfer. You and uh, Bill Edelman wrote that legislation. You got tweaked a little bit. But just talked about putting Jefferson on the map in that way, that you take that leadership role. Well, I don't believe in just staying in your own school. I believe uh, I, I, I give things to other ADs, new ADs. I do the new AD workshop every year. I think it's important to give back. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Pay It Forward, and, and I, I believe in that wholeheartedly. So, yeah, I'm active on the state level. I'm active in ice hockey. Uh, I'm actually act I'm active in the national, the National uh, Interscholastic Athletic Association. I'm on the publications committee, soon to be chairman of that committee. So, uh, yeah, I believe in giving back. It's important to contribute. And how big is that for you, the Jefferson, the state, that New Jersey's represented on a national level, and you can bring how great this state is to everybody else? You'd be surprised how many people ask us what we do, because a lot of times we do it first. Um, and, and I like to think that we do it best. So, uh, yeah, we talk a lot. One of the best things about the, the conventions is getting to talk to people from different states and what they have to do. And, we're pretty lucky in New Jersey. We got it pretty good. I'm sure you have plenty of memories. You've had state championships in football. You've had great hockey, lacrosse teams, girls basketball. But is there a memory that sticks out that might not be a big win, that touches your heart, that you say this is the essence, essence of Jefferson Athletics? Yeah, there's like two stories that I don't want to take too long, but the Dunks for Disabilities game that we do here, uh, our kids love it. They embrace those, those adult uh, people with disabilities, and it's just a great thing. And, we had a game, we had a, a, a Down syndrome kid that swam for us, and we were going against Vernon. And um, it wasn't the greatest swimmer in the world, but my coach had the idea at the end of the meet to put all the best swimmers, boy swimmers, on the line and him in lane six. And they just went back and forth, and our, the swimmers went as slow as they could, and he ended up finishing first, and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. That's what makes athletics so great. And just sum up your time here at Jefferson. I I know you still got a few years years left in you, but your time here at Jefferson has been pretty special. 
Yeah, you know, uh, I, we're the Falcon family. You know, we use that acronym all the time. Um, and uh, I, I'm proud to be here. I've spent the, the most of my career has now been at Jefferson, and I'm proud of that. Uh, it's just been a great experience, and I, I love being here. I love being a part of all this.